I have a lot of pain stored away. And I didn't know how to bring it out at first. And I met Miss Heidi Arneson. She taught us how to do yoga, um, relaxation, deep thought. I took the class, you know, to help me understand who I really am. Opens my feelings. I can talk freely to anybody and not feel ashamed about it. Um, anybody can do it. I mean, don't be shy. If you're shy, you won't get to know no, nothing in the world. Period. That's basically the reason why I came in the program, to help understand who I really am. I, I've been teaching on the outside for 10 years, and I felt like it was powerful medicine, and I wanted to get it to a place where it would be the most useful. And um, so I have some issues and wounds from my past, and I thought it would just be good to go. It just hit me, um, felt very strongly in my guts that I should go into the, find a way to work in the prison system. Um, just start with a gentle jog in place. Boom. And shake it out, shake it out your fingers, shake it out your wrist, any tension that's in your body. Just send it to the center of the circle. Well, we get a lot of looks. They look in the class a lot. I mean, they laugh. Some stop and stare and see what we're doing. I was, I was told that I was going to be on the stage performing like this art, theater art. I never thought, thought of seeing myself doing that, so I gave it a shot. And then, but once I got into class and, and really found out what it was about, it was about me. Not about art itself, it was just about me. After my long extensive years in prison, I never had no one listen. It was kind of hard finding someone to listen, actually listen. Everyone got their suggestions, some people just blow you off, but how do you actually listen? You know, and that meant a whole lot. And also make a space in there for you to see yourself on stage, relaxed, grounded in your body, breathing, connected to the breath, connected to all the other participants. That's a lot I, a lot I hold inside, and, this, and she gives me this chance to get it out to a multitude of people. Many years I've talked to younger guys, tell them about the life behind the walls. But this, this is something she given me. She gave me a chance to tell to more to the people at one time, and that's great. Whatever distractions are out there in the audience, you can never predict what's going to be going on with the audience. Stay strong with your images. You're there to give the gift of your images, your sights, your sounds, your smells, your stories. So just come armed with those images in your imaginations and in your spirits and in your hearts. Because, you know, it's just the gym filled with people and fluorescent lights, and so you're the ones who bring in the stories and the magic and your truths, okay? War and peace. I read a lot about history. It is said that you have to know where you've been to know where you are going. It seems that our existence is based on war and peace. Since the beginning of time, the human race has fought. Today, there is no peace. The world has much drama. Stop the madness. What the hell are we fighting for? Who are we mad at? When you're telling a tender story, also connect with that volume. I know that when someone's sharing a tender piece, that then the voice tends to be tender as well, but I need as much. So think of your, that lower belly as a cradle to send the tenderness out. The high that you gave me felt better than smoking weed. So when your beauty hit my lungs, I knew that's all I need. But the worst wasn't in prison. The worst was regaining my so-called freedom. And even right now today, my freedom doesn't belong to me. As, as, long as, my as long as my childhood and my adolescence remain a part of my past, then freedom had no business with me. And also think about then giving pauses after you make important statements to let that ring, which Remy, you're being really excellent with, with really taking the time. Getting to know everybody on a little deeper basis was kind of interesting, instead of just a jail. You know, hey, what's up, kind of thing. You have something to say about that. Oh, come on, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Say something about it. A hope, a dream. A joy, yeah. It helps get a, get some Plans spirit. for the future. Plans for the future, yeah. Blah, 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 I'll have something tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. Yay, excellent.
but this is it. You know, we put it together, we work together for for weeks, and, and it's amazing. You know, myself, I can say that I'm not a big writer, but I, I can I can also say that I I, I did a lot of work because I, I I did a lot of writing. So, but yeah, I'm pretty I'm I'm excited about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Learned a lot about writing. Um, what I was really feeling versus just part of it. I always journaled part of my feelings. Now I'm full on, 100% with how I feel. Thank you so much for coming today. I'm very grateful for your presence here. I feel joy for being here and pain for not being there. I feel joy for the love of my family, pain for all the hate in the world. Living without love yesterday, life was full of pain. Now I have love every day, and that makes me feel joy today. I feel joy because I know who I am, and I feel pain because I'm the only one who knows who I am. My lesson was consistent of taking a shower with my shoes on, with a shank tied deeply tight in my hands. Watching how I always have a song watching over my back. But my aunt lesson also taught me to watch the person who watches me. Don't trust nobody. As a young age, I was taught that I had no choice but to join a game or your life would stop at the door before it begins. What I've seen then, I see it today. Brothers and sisters losing their analysis to this jungle, these walls. This may be Black History Month, but this is not a Black History story. This is my story. If your brothers and sisters don't wake up, this can't become your story. During my brief stay here, I have gained my GED, my driver's permit, a college grant, and a direct action certificate. April 6, 2006, age 21, will be my release date. Then I will go to a own mortgage home under my name. Not only that, I will go to college and have a job full time. Living without you is like trying to live without a heart, because we're stuck like steel chains and can't be broken apart. You're worth more than any diamond and more bigger than this world. And not only that, but daddy's little girl. My life, my love, my hope, my love. My soul, my faith, and chicken butt. I love you today, and I love you tomorrow. I love you forever, so don't feel sorry. No more going to jail, no more running wild. No more leaving you, my beautiful, precious child. And I, I, I want to thank all these guys for being with me, Heidi, for conducting a class that is probably one of the most powerful things that I've voluntarily done in my entire life. <laughs> uh, I learned a lot. She gave me gifts that uh, somewhere sent from the heavens above, as we neighbors say, get you Montadu, brought those prayers down to me. Okay, that's our love fest. <laughs>